So hello and welcome to the Tail Tag Strategy Guide. If you want to see me play Fall Guys live, I stream on Twitch every day and I'd love to see you there. The starting position for this map is not important. The randomness is low, really only the players are the random elements here. And the technicality is medium, being good at jumping, diving over platforms, uh, getting used to the timing of the hammers when you can run in and out will really help you in this level. So now we're on to the strategy section and first and foremost let's just talk about the timer. It's 1 minute 30 now so you really still have about 45 seconds to chill out if you want but this will go into one of the strategies that we talk about shortly. So the first strategy obviously is obtaining a tail. primary way you're going to be obtaining tails is to cut off other players routes, catching them while they're standing near the hammers for safety or if they genuinely just fall over. So the first strategy I want to talk about is the AFK strategy. It's a little bit of fun and it goes back to the idea that you've got 45 seconds to just chill out at the start of this level. So if you don't start with a tail, a fun way to play, I think, is to pretend to be AFK and just sort of watch people near the ramps. So just stand still near the ramps and watch people. And I find that people will generally walk closer to you <laughs> if they think you're AFK and they'll walk closer than they normally would. And at some point, maybe, you know, the minute mark or something, you can quickly spring and grab the tail from them and then you're off. It's just a nice, fun way to sort of surprise somebody and I really enjoy just doing it occasionally. So the next strategy is the outside cutoff. You want to look for players that are running around the outside of an arena and they're usually chased by other players and you want to cut them off. I don't know why people do it. I do think it's a bad play in this game, tail tag and team tail tag. If you run around the outside, you limit your options quite heavily so people can easily cut you off and that's what this is about. You want to cut off people that are running around the outside, steal the tail and then run back to the middle to avoid a regrab. You want to use the hammers as defense or jump around the central ledges to avoid a regrab and then after a while you'll be safe and they'll go to someone else. The next strategy is safety hammers. So look for players who are hiding next to the central hammer, the hiding in the center. You want to wait on the edge of the hammer's path and you can take your time and just time your entry, steal the tail and then try to run out. Now if you get hit by the hammer and flung away, it's a risky because they might, somebody might grab you as you're lying on the floor, but more than often you'll be fine and you're away from danger at that point. So then you've got a tail, which is all you wanted to do. So wait on the edge of a hammer to see if people start moving, but uh, do time your entry. It's really important that you do that to get the tail. So the next strategy obviously is keeping a tail. There are several techniques that I like to use to keep hold of a tail. I do not like to walk around the outside of the arena because your options are limited. This is what we mentioned earlier. So the first strategy is hiding in the hammer. So I know this sounds a bit counterproductive because I just told you to look for people that are hiding in the hammer, but it can be done well. It is a good strategy, that's why people do it. So hiding within the central hammer is a decent strategy to buy yourself plenty of time. When it starts to get more popular, like two or three tails are hiding in there, that's when things start to get dangerous. You want to keep an eye out for tailless opponents. You want to do keep a decent eye out, you know, turn your camera around and look around. And you want to go to the opposite side of the hammer as they're coming in from. So if they're coming from the right, then you want to go to the left side of the hammer past the mid part. And if they get hit and flung away, then you can forget about them. And if they get through, it's time to run out and you may get flung. But again, that's another risk where most of the time you're fine. So the next strategy is jumping across the ledges. So you want to climb up the central ramps and angle the camera back down the ramp so you can see anyone coming from where you just came from. You want to watch anyone running up to you on that ramp and if you see one, you want to jump to the ledges next to it. And I think it's always best to jump two ledges because some ledges are ramped downwards and some are flat. And you always kind of want to be on the flat ones because they're safer. You also want to watch out for jumpers from the left and the right, and you want to jump obviously in the opposite direction. So people can get you from the south, but I think it's so rare because the hammer is there that I think it's, it's safe to just kind of ignore that bit for a while. And you'll see some of this play in the video that we'll see later on. So now we're onto the tips and tricks section. And the first tip is the central barriers. I've seen people stand on the yellow central barriers near the hammer. You aren't safe while you do this and it's quite finicky to get up there, you can get knocked off and I really wouldn't recommend it if you have a tail. If you see someone up there though, for whatever reason, just jump, dive, grab and get them. You'll probably fall down but you'll get the tail and then you, you know, on your way. So the second tip and trick is jump, dive, grab. I mention this in every tail tag video that I make 
but you can grab while you're jump diving. So use this to catch people that are heading up ramps or the players that are jumping around the central ledges. If you jump dive onto a ledge, they'll jump dive off, but you can jump dive grab onto the ledge and you'll probably get the tail. You might fall off, but at least you're safe. So this is a really good strategy to use in this particular map uh, to get the tail and run away. So that is it for the strategy and tips and tricks for tail tag. So again, a quite a short video, but it's really about the strategies and the techniques used to obtain a tail and keep a tail. It's not as involved as Royal Fumble because the map's quite short. And like there's plenty of times where you just get left alone, but you really should mix it up. You know, go inside the hammer for safety, keep a really good eye out on people, then leave and then try and use the ledges, then go back to the hammers. So if you want to see me play Fall Guys live and I play matches like this all the time, Pop by my, my Twitch, I stream every day, and I'd love to see you there. In the meantime though, we're gonna look at some games where we see the strategies in play. Thank you for watching, take care of yourself, and I'll see you again next time. I think I have a tail. No, I don't. So we'll just do the strat of standing still. The standing still strat. I think standing here is inconspicuous. So we'll just stand here. They might see I'm AFK and then run past me. Like that, you know? You know how E? And then run around here for a bit. I don't like it completely, but, um. You know, like, so. But I think it's pretty good. But if I get scared, I'm gonna... Like... Yeah, I mean, he could grab me. Push me out. Just watch. I'm gonna go now, because there's loads of people that are trying to get it. Going around here is pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to the center. Flavor Town just got wrecked. All these people are getting wrecked. He's got tail. He got wrecked. Seven, six. He's got tail. He's getting wrecked. I'm gonna get knocked off. Easy game, easy life. I know that the AFK strat. <laughs> it actually works. It's so funny. I mean, it's not the best, but you know, people will come to you. You don't have to start running around like a madman if you don't have a tail. You get an hour, you get a, an hour and thirty minutes. An hour and thirty. Hey, let's go for this crown. Hickwins and Nitro's Matty. My name is Matty as well. Welcome. Welcome to the Matty Club. Just check and see if anyone's going to jump over. No. They may get pushed out, but other than that, I think we're alright. Yeet! Strategies, guys. This is my strategy. Oops. So we don't really care if they get hit behind. I don't think they'll be able to get the crown in time. But we're just looking to see if anyone jumps up my ramp or whether anyone's going to jump over from a different ramp. And then we move over. Alright, next, next, next time. Oh, careful. Oh, that guy was going to come up but decided not to. Got to watch out for the bird brain. Um, six. Watch out for that guy. Was that? Uh, uh, <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> that was really weird. That was just, uh, you know, just just standing around for a bit, you know. I think it's a really good place. That's my favourite place uh, to stand because. 
If they jump over from the sides, that's what you've got to be careful of. Or if they come up your ramp. I don't think they're going to come from behind most of the time, so... Um, damn. Good tactic. I know. My pad is a PS4 pad. 